What's going on everybody? Richie here, Hybrid Athletics. So I entered a transformation contest. This was back in January 1st. The competition was who could get the most dramatic transformation in a three month period. So it was from January 1st to April 1st. The contest was hosted by Chris Barnard of Overtime Athletes. If you're familiar with Elliot Hulse and Strength Camp, then you've probably seen Coach Chris before. So I entered the three month transformation contest and I got some good news. I won first place. <laughs> yep, took it down, I took first place. It was an awesome experience. Got in really good shape from the competition. It gave me some incentive, I won $1,000, which everyone can use an extra $1,000, right? And along the way, I also added six inches to my vertical, to my running vertical. So I wanna do this video to talk to you about how I won first place and what it takes to get fast, dramatic results. So I think the main key was, first of all, that I tracked every single meal, every single calorie, every single macro for 90 days straight. And I still continue to do so now. It sounds tedious, but if you want to get the results that you want in the most efficient and effective way possible, you have to break it down to a science. That doesn't mean that I was staying perfectly, you know, under my calories every single day. That doesn't mean I was hitting my macros perfectly every single day, but I did track every single thing. So those days that I was off, I knew I could go make up for it the day after and then the week after. During this three month span, it's like everybody I know <laughs> has a birthday or you know some type of celebration going on there's like all these holidays where people are drinking and stuff and uh i didn't really restrict myself on the days where it was people's birthday but on nights that i was just getting together with the friends and it wasn't like a special occasion going on i did make sure to not exceed a certain limit of drinks the food i wasn't as worried about but i did make sure to not exceed a certain limit of drinks because i didn't want it to hold me back in my workout the day after. Which leads me to the other thing that made a huge impact in my transformation and that was that I didn't miss one workout. That's right, if I had a workout scheduled, I made sure to get it in. It didn't matter if I had a long day at work or you know if I had other things going on or you know I was just having a bad day. The workout needed to happen and there was absolutely no way around it. This meant that some days I was waking up at 4 o'clock or 4.30 to make sure that I could devote the time and effort into the workout before I had to go to work or do other things. That also meant that sometimes I was hitting it late in the night and I didn't miss one workout. So within the workout, there was another thing that I did, and that was really focus on my effort with each and every single rep and all my rest periods. I followed the workouts exactly to a T. So when there was days where I was tired, I didn't feel like doing that last set, I didn't feel like doing those last reps, I made sure I went hard, no matter what. I made sure that I had my stopwatch out for every single set. So after every single set, I hit that stopwatch to keep it consistent from workout to workout to make sure that each workout got progressively better. So not only did I follow every single workout to the T, but I also made sure that I went the extra mile because in my mind, I know there's someone else out there who's doing the same thing as me, right? I know somebody is tracking all their meals, is hitting every single workout, is out there focusing intently, you know, and doing every single rep with a purpose. So then I say, what do I gotta do to beat that guy? And what I did was, I made sure to do a little bit extra. Now, in these transformation contests, it's based on pictures, you know, so in my mind, a few different things stand out in pictures, right? Core, your silhouette, so you, you know, your shoulders, arms, shoulders, and core. Pretty much. So I knew if I was bringing a shredded physique with good looking arms and shoulders and if I was putting in all the effort that it would really show in the pictures. So not only did I make sure to do every single rep, every single workout with a purpose, but I also went the extra mile and added in a few of my own things to work on lagging areas, mostly core. So I did core six or seven days a week, most weeks. And I actually also started throwing in some isolation moves for arms, even though I really haven't been doing that because I've been focusing on my dunks lately and uh, the arms, you know, seem to take a lot of time out of my training uh, and it wasn't my top priority. I started throwing in isolation moves for arms again because I thought it would give me the best chance to win the competition. So that's what it takes to get dramatic results in a short period of time. And that's what I did. That was my formula for success. 
That's how I won the transformation contest. So if you want to get fast results and you're serious about it, think to yourself, are you willing to do what I did to win that contest? Are you willing to track every single meal? Are you willing to hit your macros? Are you willing to sacrifice sometimes? And maybe not eat all the things you want to eat all the time. Or are you willing to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning? Are you willing to work out at 12 in the night when you have an early day the next day? Are you willing to not only track every single set, rep, rest period, but are you willing to do extra after that? Because a lot of people say, how do you get these results? Is it genetics? Is it this? Is it that? No, it's definitely not genetics, guys, for sure. Uh, honestly, it's definitely not. I have terrible genetics. <laughs> No, that's, that's actually not true. I actually have pretty good genetics, but there's a lot of people that can get the same results or better than I did. When it comes down to it, it's hard work. It's going the extra mile. Well, that's it, guys. Just wanted to give you a little insight into my mindset of how I get my results fast and what it takes to get those types of results. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead, leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead, follow me on Instagram. Share the video with a friend. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the box below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till next time, this is Richie with Hybrid Athletics, training for life.